Hi, I'm Glenn Caruso, head football coach at McAllister College, and we're here today to talk about and introduce the idea of stress value. Uh, about a year ago, I was speaking at a clinic, and, and they were a couple speakers short, and someone came up right before the clinic and said, hey, we need an extra topic, and uh, I didn't have one. One of my assistants said, why don't you talk about that the stress value idea that we've been kicking around as a staff. So anyway, we did it, and it went off extremely well, and the response was great. And uh, not a couple weeks later, I got a call from AFM and Travis Davis, and I just wanted to thank them for having me here so I can you know, use this video to introduce the idea of stress value. Uh, stress value is basically a way to quantify how stressful an offensive formation is to, to a defense. And in growing up in offensive football the last 10 years, I'd often hear defensive coaches say, that's a tough formation to defend. I don't like that. That's stressful. That's a tough one. I'd say, why? Why is it? You know, and and they would say, I don't know, it just is. And it would drive me nuts as an offensive guy because you want a way to, to get into those more stressful formations. So what stress value is, is to, it's, it's literally putting a number and quantifying. And it seems a little bit scientific, but if you step back from it, you'll see what you're really doing is trying to put your kids in the best possible situation. What I really like about this is it's not indigenous to this offense or to that scheme, but stress value is an idea that everybody can use. Anyone who has an offense can use the idea of stress value and you can morph it to fit your offense. But we want to put our players in the best possible situations and this helps you do that. Stress value is a number you can come up with that explains how difficult or stressful the offensive formation is to the defense. What I like about it personally is it's not indigenous to my offense or this scheme or that idea. It's about offensive football. And you're going to be able to take this idea and morph it and fit it into how it can best help you in terms of game planning and play calling. Stress value is not uh, a reason for not having good personnel. It's also not an excuse for improper technique. It doesn't, it doesn't substitute for those. It is a tool that you will use as an offensive coach in game planning and play calling that will help you put your kids in better position. If you're just going to say, well, my guy's going to run over your defensive guy, then fine. You'll probably want to turn this video off right now and go buy a recruiting video. This is the idea of putting your guys in the best possible situation. What we're going to do today is explain the concept and then get into some different formations and see how you can use formations in your offense to create a more stressful environment for the defense that you're going against. What we're going to talk about now is individual offensive formations and the correlation of the stress values to each of those formations. So we'll start with a very basic I-Pro and then we'll separate from that. The first formation we're going to do is I-Pro. Stress value is based on the thought that as a defense, you have to cover basically one of two things when you're playing defense or you're a defender. You either need to cover the number of gaps that that formation gives to you or the number of zones on a field. Now you can get as crazy as you'd like to and get to three man lines and seven man lines and nine man lines as you want. For right now we're going to stay pretty pretty bland and we're going to always have at least a five man surface anywhere from a five man, six man or seven man offensive line and we're not going to get in any crazy formations. Once you get the idea down you can go ahead and use it to whatever formation you want but we'll go through about five or ten basic formations. Stress value is the idea that the bottom line is the defender either has to cover a gap in the run game or a zone in the pass game. Okay, So in looking at it, we want to separate the field like this. If you looked at it, gaps are created obviously by the offensive lineman and zones over the top and underneath. We take the zones in those two spots. These are the over the top zones, the deep half of the field, the deep portion of the field, and these are the underneath coverage areas of the defense. So if you were to look at